Canadian Idol is Brian Miller. All right, if you have to ask what that was, well, then it's not your fault. You're either a shut-in with no television or you're a hostage somewhere. So for all you shut-ins and hostages, that, my friends, is Canadian Idol. Idol is one of the biggest TV franchises ever. How big? Well, the ratings in this country have been massive. In fact, last year's season finale alone, Idol averaged 2.75 million viewers, and they all saw the smiley host, Ben Mulroney. Last night, the Idols invaded the kingdom of rock and brought you nothing but classic queen. Now, you see that kid on the end there? That's Ben. Not all of Ben's childhood was exactly average. He was born in Montreal, but from the age of 8 to 17, his address was 24 Sussex Drive, because his old man was the Prime Minister. And when your dad's the PM, what are your vacations? Like that, let's road trip to Disneyland? No, no, no. How about hanging out at Buckingham Palace? His dad hung out with Ronald Reagan and Nelson Mandela. So obviously Ben grew up in the limelight and it has followed him ever since. But he's not just some talking head. Ben has a law degree from Laval University, a history degree from Duke, home of the Blue Devils, but he's also a pop culture junkie. And he knew he wanted to get into television. He started out as a correspondent for the chat room on Talk TV. Then he moved on to Canada AM as an entertainment reporter. And eventually, E! Talk Daily, covering the Oscars, the Junos. If there's a red carpet, he's there. Today. Mon feu, mon nu. Now Ben is gearing up for the sixth season of Canadian Idol. He just got back from Malawi, where he works with UNICEF as a national ambassador. Everybody say hello to our friend Ben Mulrooney. Nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, I, 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 should, I should explain what that whole French thing was so yeah. you haven't heard before. I have a knack of instantly translating English songs into French, yeah. and normally it's very bad pop songs right. that I can do. I don't know, I've got that ability. And that was, I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys, right. into French called Je Le Veux Ainsi. Right. Why would anybody want to do that, man? Very long, that sounds bad very, long in road, very long road trip from, yes. from, from um, Ottawa to Los Angeles mm -hmm. with no radio or CDs. That would do it to uh, you. Very, very bored. There's a lot to talk about, uh, yeah. but um, the Malawi trip. Yes. You sing with the little kids, that's about as adorable as it gets. I mean, tell me about that experience. Oh, that was, I think, at the Namasimba Child care center. It was our last day uh, in Blantyre and um, uh, you know it was a fascinating event to, 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 to see. What you saw there were kids who were, uh, some kids were, were just uh, kids that were dropped off for daycare and others were kids who had lost either one or both parents to AIDS. And so the whole, the whole concept is to destigmatize children growing up um, with parents who've died of AIDS. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to throw them all together. Yeah, sure. uh, AIDS and non-AIDS kids all together from day one. And the most fascinating thing is we were always, always told that, that sort of that behavior, uh, stigmas are taught, that's learned behavior that we learn from our parents and our grandparents. But in that case, they've thrown the whole thing on its ear and it's the grandparents and the parents who are doing their best to teach this young generation mm -hmm. to live without stigma. You know, I mean, for a lot of people who do what we do for a living, uh, you get to go to Africa after the fact, you become a celebrity, you get a television show, and someone says, hey, come to Africa, let me show you yeah. what's going on. Your dad was the prime minister. Did you go as a kid? Did you get to, I mean, you I went, to I went, the whole no, I went, I went once. Uh, my parents, uh, the, the rule was never to take us out of school. Uh, it didn't matter what, what was going on. What is the point of your dad being the boss if he still had to go to school? The point of my, my, the point of my dad being the boss was he could keep, uh, keep tabs on us <laughs> with the RCMP Fair and enough. sit there with files going, so I see what you were up to yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have to order? You told me what your first date. Uh, what, what, Field of Dreams. Oh, oh, my God, who told you that? Shush, come on, this is what oh we do God. on the hour, buddy. Um, I, there was a, there was a uh, girl in my class, I can't remember what her name was, I think it was like Catherine or something, and she was about a foot taller than me, and she was well endowed. <laughs> and, um, and I was like so many boys, I thought that was the defining characteristic, <laughs> characteristic of what made a perfect woman. Yes, yeah. So we went to a movie, said nothing to each other, uh, because I was too nervous, uh, and I had a great view. And we, um, <laughs> we saw the movie, and then we went back to uh, 24, and we went for a swim. Thank you very much, uh -huh. Pierre Trudeau. And, because he, he built the pool. pool yeah. And, uh, and then, uh, and that was, that was the, and then we sat in the sauna. So now, when, and, but wait a sec, let's go, I mean, the sauna stuff, while interesting, I don't want you to have to get yourself in trouble on yeah. the air. When you were, unless you want to, <laughs> when you're in the theater watching uh, a movie with your first date and your dad's a prime minister, are there cops around you? Oh, yeah, in really bad suits about two rows behind. Oh. Sure. So when you're yawning, you go, uh -huh. and, then, and you see you them see going. That? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah it all happened all the time. It was, it was, but it was part of life. Look, I always tell people, 
I didn't know any different. I don't have a point of reference to tell me that what I, what I was living was yeah. any different than anyone else's. So everyone says, what was your life like? I was like, for me, pretty much just like yours. Because I don't know what yours was like. Right. I but, don't know normal, so that clearly, was normal to me. But clearly, you know, hindsight being twenty twenty, you can look back when you talk to your friends, and your friends, like if you and I go have a conversation, oh, like, yeah. here's what I was like when I was 12, you'd be like, yeah, at that point, I was in Switzerland. Oh, no, so exactly. after yeah. the fact, you sort of realize... Oh, what I it, knew certain things were special. Like, yeah. I knew that when I went to the airport with my dad, and, uh, and I shook hands with uh, Nelson Mandela, I was the seventh person in North America to shake his hand when he got out of prison. Wow. I knew that was special. I knew at the time it was special. There's certain... When I went to Buckingham Palace, I knew that wasn't a field trip, <laughs> you know? This this was, this was, I knew that certain things were special, and I remember them that way. So, you know, it's funny because while, while that could be enough to make a human being famous, the fact that you are related to who you are, the, uh, the after fact is you host this massive show. I mean, Canadian Idol has turned into this thing. When you first did it, did you know that you have an idea it was going to be big? Well, I knew because I'd been watching the American show. You've got to drink the Kool-Aid to appreciate a show like that. <laughs> like, you've got to buy into it. You, sure. Some people don't, and that's cool. Yeah. I, I believe that it's a, it's a valid way, A, for people to be entertained and B, to discover talent. And right. if you don't, you don't. Um, but we've been on the air. This is our sixth season. And Canadian television, it's not unheard of, but it's very rare. Yeah, especially to, to be successful the to, whole time. Yeah, I mean, and we, there, when the show started, uh, critics and just people on the street said, well, that's not going to fly in Canada. We don't yeah. celebrate that way. That's what the people down south do, the pomp and the circumstance. And I thought that was crap because we do that with hockey players all the time. Yeah. So no reason we wouldn't do it. Um, with, with musicians. I mean, we're a musical people. We, 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 we sing. We've got great, well, we do great it, musical culture. Because it's a TV show. People like a TV show more than they like a music TV show. And yeah. there's a lot of great drama in this, and it's you and the judges going back and forth. How often do you feel like throwing something at Zach? Uh, you know, the, the thing about he and I are great friends. Yeah. What I, my, Zach's my, a great guy. Yeah, my, my, my greatest problem is that when we talk about things beforehand, and I say, look, I'm going to need your help. <laughs> I've got, I got 15 seconds to end this show, so I need you to say thank you and good night. Give me 10 seconds to finish and he cannot do it for the life of him he can't just goes and on when I know that we have a hard out and the next show is starting mm -hmm. and I don't want to cut off the next the, the whoever's leaving I don't want to cut off their song I need as much time as I can have mm -hmm. and they never give it to me they never give the time no no, no they don't what do you, now, I mean obviously it shows like Idol will, will, will be along for a long time you won't host it forever you'll no. want to do other things uh, the e-talk show is, is doing great for you do you have a, an idea of what you'll do after this well we're doing a lot more things I, that, that, that I've wanted to be part of for a long time I mean there's there's production obviously you know you can't be in front of the camera forever right. and when you and and those who are in front of the camera forever have a say as to what they're doing and so that's always the goal everybody's goal sure. in, in television is get behind the camera and to sort of control where the camera goes sure. and and I'm getting that a little bit and more and more and I've got some ideas for some shows and as CTV slowly acquires the world um, the options are yeah. are open to me um, so yeah, that, that's where I want to go, and, and you know, there's writing and there's directing and there's all, all these ideas in my head. But I'm pretty busy, uh, and, and I'm what, happy what, being. What do you want to direct? What are you doing? Like you um, make a, like a drama? Or... I got, I got, I've got some ideas for some shows. They're not yeah. ready yet. They're not ready yet. But one day they will be, and and uh, and then you can come on my show. Oh, is that it? I'd love to come <laughs> yeah. on your show someday. You ready to do a uh, word association? Sure. All right, here's what's going to happen. When we take a break. We're going to come back, and I'm just going to throw words at Ben Mulroney. He has no idea what's coming, and uh, I know him, so he's going to shake his head a lot. More <laughs> word association with Ben when we come back.